understand a woman sleeping a lot more than they do or being a little more lazy not that all women are lazy at all not by any means but we have these times where we're very low energy and even waking up early all of this is based on timetables of a man's hormonal schedule throughout the day but women have a much different schedule so i think women are feeling a lot of guilt for not having the same timetable as a man <laughs> Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride chair extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. Thank you. That's right. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Come on. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. And we're almost at the goal of a thousand subscribers, guys. Thank you very much for hanging around and listening to this old man rant. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, so I'm in the news feed and I see a news story that went across and we see two people went to the IHOP and they were denied service or something like that. All right. One of the servers did not want to wait on these people because she says that, you know, she don't want to wait on black people, something like that. Right. Now. Of course, now we got all everybody in their feelings about the story. I remember a few years ago, they say the same thing about Cracker Barrel and black people stopped going to Cracker Barrel. So I'm they're racist. Whatever. One server does not speak for the whole restaurant. Right. But now they want to boycott IHOP. And I don't understand why. When we got to the restaurant and we were told that we were not going to be serviced because of our color, it is a shock and your brain is not processing what you're hearing. Mitchell says another employee even admitted that their waitress wouldn't serve them because they are black. Mitchell even recording the conversation with the manager for social media. On our morning server, she's she picky. No, she's not picky, she's racist. She didn't want to say she was racist. She said, oh, she's picky. No, that's not being picky if you're selecting only a certain group of people that you want to serve. The manager told Mitchell and Polly the waitress has worked at that IHOP for 25 years. IHOP franchise Anthrapper Restaurant sent us a statement saying in part, we have fully investigated this matter and taken appropriate actions, including termination of these involved. This isolated incident is not reflective of our ongoing commitment to our guests and team members. Polly and Mitchell say IHOP did the right thing with firing the waitress but says the damage is already done. It's just like a Sound like a payday feeling, you know, you can't get it out your head. And I'm Yeah, I'm having sleepless nights even though I got to go be up work, but you know it's it's draining. Stop the cat. It opened the door that I never wanted to walk through. So it's like really have we we have we come far as we think we have or is it just being hidden more? Now Black people. Okay, folks, listen up. Now, if you haven't waited table before, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you never waited table before, you don't know what I'm talking about. But the guys and gals that have been in the trenches that waited table before, we all know there's one group of people we do not like to serve. And it's not a secret. I remember when I first started waiting tables, my first job, my first waiting job, was at uh, Capitol Grill in Brooklyn Avenue. I was one of the first people that opened up Capitol Grill. All right, Capitol Grill is a high-end steak in high-end steakhouse, and it was in, right in the middle of Miami, Brooklyn Avenue. When I first started, I was I did dishes, I was a busser, I did food running, and then I ended up being a server. Okay, was there for two years, made good money, and I didn't experience nothing nothing of that black people stuff because Capitol Grill again is a high-end restaurant 
steakhouse and very few black people came in there. If they did come in, they were professional folks, lawyers, doctors, or people that knows about the steak industry. Now, I left there, went to Atlanta, Black Mecca. And one of my jobs I had, I started working at the ESPN Sports Zone. ESPN had a little restaurant, a little theme restaurant down here. And I was one of the servers there too when it first opened up. And man, oh man, Jesus Christ. That was probably the worst serving job I ever had doing this. <laughs> I hated it. You know, it was a lot of young folks, a lot of young black people. Tips was horrible. Tips were horrible. Black people don't know how to tip. And we all know this. We all know it's not a secret. It was so bad that when people come in, if it's black people, and most of the staff was black folks. We see a, a group of black women come in. Oh my God. We try to push it off of somebody else, push it off to the new guy, push it off to, we did not want to serve, especially black women are the worst when it comes to the restaurant business. They'll run you to, they'll run you to death and give you a dollar tip, especially if they're young or, or sorority types. Oh my God. Old sorority deltas and alpha, um, AKAs, the worst tippers. Hated it. So people will come in, a group of six, group of eight, and here we are in the back. Black people are talking among black people. Hey, man, can you take that table for me? And we're like, nope, I ain't doing it. May I give you? Nope. They're trying to boss you around and make you take that table because we hate serving black people because y'all got a reputation. It's, it's, it's so bad that, you know, it's stereotype. Yes, because it's a true stereotype. Yeah, don't tip. Black women, can I get some more water? Yes, ma'am. Can I get some lemon in my water? Yes, ma'am. Can I get extra napkins? Yes, ma'am. Can I get extra straws? Yes, ma'am. Can I get more shrimp? Yes, ma'am. Can, I can't taste no liquor in here. Ma'am, it's a fruity drink and that's supposed to taste some liquor. Can I get extra liquor? God damn. And then they run you up and down. Run you. Can I get you anything else, ladies? No, we good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I get some sugar packets? God damn. Run you up and down. And then you come back with a check. Can we get split checks? Now you got to go back and you got other tables you got to handle and then you'll split the checks and then you come with the split checks. Oh, I didn't have this. I didn't have that. I didn't get no shrimp on this one. You charge me. And they fucking will try to pull you down. Excuse my language. They hustle you down. And if you have the slightest attitude, they'll say, well, let me talk to your manager and try to get you fired because you ain't kissed their ass. Nobody likes serving black people. And I've been there. I've done that. And when I go to a restaurant, you know, they see my face. And then, you know, I, I can see when people start saying, well, I don't want to do this. But I always leave a big tip or a nice tip. Depends on the service. But I always try to give at least 20, 25%. But because I've been there, I know the work. I never, you know, the steak come in. Oh, this is this is uh, too pink. And you got to take it back. You bring it back. Oh, it's still not pink enough. It's too hot. It, it's something. It's always something. Black woman running you back. And you, this is why people don't like serving y'all. This is why people don't like serving y'all. Run them, y'all try to get free food. Y'all run on a check. You know what I'm saying? It's just, no, it's so much work with y'all. That's why people don't like serving y'all. So yes, it's a stereotype because especially black women, y'all ruin it for everybody. So I don't blame the server for not wanting to serve you. Because if, especially if you're in a, a predominantly black community and there's nothing but black people, black people, IHOP, oh my goodness. I could imagine when she goes there because black people love IHOP. Black people love Waffle House. And y'all run people down. Y'all are disrespectful. And then at the end, y'all might give them a dollar. These people work hard, bring you a food, and y'all want to give them a dollar at the end of the work. This is why nobody want to work with y'all or serve y'all. Because y'all don't know no uh, no etiquette of t going out. If you cannot afford a tip, if you go into a nice restaurant you, and then the tip is twenty percent, how do you determine the tip? You look at the taxes. Okay, look at the taxes. If the taxes say seven dollars and fifty cents, you double it. It's fifteen dollars. That's your ta that's your tip. Okay, for you people who don't know how to tip people. Look at the taxes. Whatever the taxes, because most places, the taxes are 
seven percent, seven and a half percent, eight percent. Okay, if it's eight percent on the taxes, you just double it, and that's fifteen to sixteen percent, and throw another two dollars in, and maybe it might make it to twenty percent. But five dollars is not a tip, guys. You got a hundred dollar bill, you give them five dollars. That's not a tip. That's an insult. If you cannot afford the tip, do not go out. Take your ass guy to McDonald's. Now everybody want to boycott IHOP. For what? For what? She's in the feeling she's going to sue IHOP. That's all they wanted to do, sue IHOP. You know what I'm saying? Get some compensation or get some free food for the rest of their lives. They're fat asses over here. You, you should have stayed away from goddamn IHOP. But this is what y'all do. This is why nobody want to work with y'all. It was why we see y'all coming through the doors like, oh, my God, I roll my eyes. I go to the restaurant. I try to at least look decent. Oh, he got a suit. He ain't cheap. Oh, he got a, a blazer on. He knows what's up. But if I go in with some jeans and some Jordans on, everybody be like, oh, man, I don't want to, I don't want to wait that table. So don't be all in your feelings when people don't want to work with y'all or serve y'all. Cause again, y'all don't know the etiquette. Y'all want to always want to get over on somebody. Anyway, that's my rant for the day. If you got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. See that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi.